Welcome to Akuai's Open House. The 2013 and 2012, 2013, and 2013-2014 board have donated artwork tiling to be installed once completed. You'll see a handmade rendering of it in the future lobby here that Walt can point out. <laughs> the board provided practical knowledge from their expertise regarding building construction. We were reminded about what amazing professionals that we work with in college and university housing and the products that they um, used in the residence halls that stand, that stand up to the test of time and then also just what the quality of professionals that we got to work with on their staff who helped us make good decisions for our building. So we appreciate that and all that you did. And that, that um, totaled about $300,000 in um, in-kind in gifts and, and product, in kind, um, products to our building. So this really was a family affair. Um, my father made the front door to our new building, which is pretty oh, special. Oh, nice. <laughs> Sheila drove her husband to Ikea to get stuff for the office, <laughs> and certainly all of our families um, watched with us and helped us uh, as, as we went through this process. But the senior staff at Akuhawai um, had never done anything like this. I think that we felt good because we knew that our members had, and so we had the best advisors um, that they're even free to us. <laughs> um, but under the leadership of Vinnie Gore and Patty Martinez and our finance committee under the leadership of Pete um, Galloway, just to just really help this project come together. Um, the financing for the building, this is a $1.7 million project. Uh, we bought this building for $375,000, which is pretty amazing when you think about um, the historic nature of the building that the staff will tell you about on the tour. And um, we couldn't be happier. And, and, and our goal really was to make sure that our members felt like they had a professional home that they could be proud of, and that our staff had a professional home that they could be proud of working in. And I think that together with your assistance, we have certainly hit that mark. So I thank you. I'd like to invite Vinnie Gore uh, to represent last year's executive board and have us officially cut the ribbon to open the building. Yes, you're in the two stand. I don't have your red shoes. I don't have my red shoes on today. <laughs> Ready? 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 One, two, three. <laughs> I think the membership has very much benefited from having a physical location where we can create new histories and also capture those histories knowing that this building is a historical site and it's not going to go away. It's a beautiful facility. you got to come and visit. Well, this building is just a perfect example of who we are as a housing program. We have a long history of solid foundation and solid building, that, but and on the college campus, the housing program is what provides that environment that is safe and secure and solid and strong. But it also allows for creativity and innovation and learning. And this building is going to do that. Taking the historical building and, and not compromising the history and the strength of the building, we've created such creative spaces for our members and our staff to be able to grow the profession and continue to build community among our college campuses. The building has a basement and then three levels. It's really the first two levels, bright, open, airy, really what we want to create in our residence halls, in our lounges. This reminds me of a residence hall lounge where I'm going to run into somebody and just sit there and say, hey, you want to chat? What do you want to do with your life? But here we're going to say, what do you want to do with your profession? How can we help you? How can we make this the place you turn to for when you're thinking about your future? It's really interesting. I think when I was sort of served on the board, one of the questions we sort of grappled with is, what do we do with all these resources? And you know, even just the, the thought of, say, having a, the concept of a librarian, but now to have a librarian, a library, a home. And I think it's the final part to make that final connection because this is where we belong and that's the final piece. I'd have to agree with you, David. I, 
having a place that we can come to as an association, a home base, makes all the difference in the world. How many other professional organizations in student affairs have a space like this, have a building, have a home base where the members can come to work, where our office Mm. staff can be so productive in helping us do our jobs better? Uh, I don't know any other association that, that does that. Excellent. Uh, how do we see this headquarters enhancing the future of our profession? Well, I see it a lot of ways because this will be a mecca for information source. So that means we're going to cultivate and, and curate lots of information for us to answer the better questions about how do we do housing residents like that. So that's the thing, hopefully, that will galvanize us to turn to a QOI when we have a question in the future, as we do already. There are so many things we can be doing. The executive board and the different foundation boards now will be meeting here and doing their work here. Of course, the staff will be here every day doing their thing between working at their desks or working in their creative space or wherever they're going to be. But I also think we'll start seeing more student-led groups, focus groups, um, institute planning, the things that happen across the country because we haven't really had a space that we could come to as a home base to do that. And now I think we'll see more of that happen and I'm hoping that we'll see the local colleges and universities use it as well for their housing program as they work through their their initiatives and their planning. Well a great thing for me is a couple of words and big words collaboration I mean it took sponsorship it took working with architects and and even with the community involvement that just blew me away Uh, and I think that our association's mission Joanne of course is, is this whole thing about connection and, and community. And we refer to the Kurawai's family. And to be in a neighborhood, and then on the other side, close to uh, probably one of the f- most famous universities in the States, I think just adds, and a, and a university which has been synonymous with the Kurawai, being the Ohio State University. But that connection. But the great thing here is about the collaboration, but also the sustainability of the design. So what was great, I found, was that it made the connection because it walks the talk. Here's the building, and it is us. It's a fine example of what we can be doing in in our campuses. You walk in, and you feel this sense of warmth, this welcoming atmosphere. It's colorful. It's bright. It's clean. It's fresh. It it looks like you want to be here. Just like our sign says, this is where you belong. You do belong here. We're in a residential neighborhood. That makes a lot of sense. Yep. We are a family, and we've come together so nicely Beautiful. in this space. Well, first of all, millennials and all those young kids coming in here, I think there's really a need for us to better understand what it means to be in a global society and how that's making a real difference in our communities, especially our residence hall communities here domestically in the United States, but also internationally. What does that mean to have that rich mixture of individuals coming to learn together and learn from each other? I think it's cool I can play a great role in it and we'll continue to play a great role in it. Well, I'm on the executive board. So I was in this building when we first bought it. I've been in this building when we've had to wear our hard hats. And I actually had not seen the building since last fall. So since last fall, in renovation, housing people know that in a renovation effort, everything looks about the worst it can look before it starts really coming together. So when we were here last fall, that's about where they were. They were running, they still working through some of the issues. There, there were no wall coverings on the wall. There was no flooring on the floors. And so just as a facilities person in housing, it's been exciting to watch it come. And it has been extremely fun to watch the staff learn as they have about the projects that we do every day. Have you looked in this building? Uh, <laughs> that was my answer. <laughs> you look at this beautiful set of pictures here. You look at the history that's upstairs that shows all of our past presidents and the foundation and, and all of the beautiful artwork that we have and, and all the school pins and the pictures. I mean, this just shows what we are about, what we've been about for the last 60 years. Absolutely. And I suppose having your own home as well, it's the permanency of that. And at last, we are here. And we're able to encompass all that we are in the one place and that belonging. And that's what really gets, gets me. And, the, and as you're saying, Joe, and spot on. 
you only have to tour the place and take the photos of what's, what's there and you go, it is, there, there's the history. But, you know, just the way it's all been done, and we've got the, you know, the globe at the back here, because we are an international association. And I think it is nice, that, in fact, to have a home that you can call home, but also it, it acknowledges everything else about the association. You know, you've got, you know, uh, a photo up there of, you know, the University of Pretoria and place, University of Hong Kong and pins where you, you, it is. It just smacks of, this is, this is our place. Yep. And it is the permanency. And I think it is, and I know there's a lot more for the association to actually do, but having a permanency, I think, yep. wraps it up. I'm personally looking forward to seeing lots more pins on this map behind us. Yeah to show where everybody's coming from. That's going to be so exciting to see that map so yep. full of pins. Absolutely, absolutely. Akuhai's future is bright because of the new people we have coming up. As I work with our grad students and our student leaders that are undergrads, and I look at the way they think and the way they act and the excitement they have, and then I know the technology and the support that's going to be out there, I can't wait to see 10 years down the road, 15 down the road, what our young people of today are going to do. Thank you for attending Akuwai's Open House. The next time you're in town, stop by 